Okay, let us have a good look at the section budgeting. This question is 35 marks in total. 6.1, we finished it, we, well, we completed it in the previous video. It was the debtors collection schedule. 6.2, calculate the amounts indicated by I, 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 and I, I, I. I, I, Captain. Oh. Okay, if, if you know where that is from, please co comment it down, down below. We're getting a bit crazy in this uh, budgeting video. So I, 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 I. These are the amounts that we need to calculate. So I, these are the cash sales for September. It's the cash sales for September. So we've got our credit sales for September. This 403,000. And credit sales are going to be 40% of total sales because cash sales are 60%. So 60 plus 40 gives us that grand total of 100. So that 403,200 represents 40%. That amount represents 40%. We want the amount that represents 60%. That's the answer to I. So our calculation is going to look something like this, 403,200. So what do we want over what we have? We want the 60%. We have the 40%. And our answer is going to be 604,800. And that's it. Two, rent income. You're the way I love this calculation, guys. Yo. Nothing makes me happier than doing a rent income calculation. After teaching for five years, I don't even know whether that's sarcasm anymore um, because I, low-key, on the DL, on the down low, I'm enjoying it. I be enjoying it. I'm trying to keep these lessons as hip as possible for the Gen Zs. So the rent income is going to increase by 9%. So 25,600 in September, and we need to add on 9% over and above that amount. It's going to be 25,600 times 1,09 or times 109%, whatever floats your boat, my friend, as long as you get 27,904. And next, payments to creditors. This is a cracking calculation, this one. So payments to creditors. Stock sold is replaced in the month of the sales and 50% of purchases are on credit. So that would represent our like creditors control amount or creditors amount. And they are paid in the month following the month of purchases. I know the English there isn't so attractive. But basically, we would need to use our total sales amount straight off the bat. So our total sales amount was 1,008,000. We multiply that by 50% immediately to get that credit amount. And now we need to factor in that there was a markup 75% on cost. So we would divide that by 1,75. And we get a lovely total here of 288,000. Um, just something I wanted to add for this first question here, I, I, you could have just said a million and eight thousand minus 403,200 to get the 604,800. Either or, but I just showed you guys another method just in case you needed it. Okay, and these are your three answers. 6.3, calculate the percentage increase in salaries of sales assistance for October 2018. So the salaries of sales assistance, so big minus small over small, it's like selling price minus cost price over cost price times 100. So our calculation is gonna look like this, 102,102, what an inventive number, minus 92,400 over 92,400 times 100, and we get 10.5%. Explain whether they should be satisfied with this increase. Well. I would say it's a fair increase. A 10.5% salary increase is huge. This is way above the rate of inflation. So it's way above the rate of inflation. But I guess you can get a bit uh, creative here. If you look very carefully at the manager from 32 to 40,000, don't look at the random amounts, look at the percentage increase. That's around about like a 25% increase. So they got 10.5%, the manager got 25%. So if you compare it to the manager, yeah, they could be dissatisfied. So whatever your reason, make sure you substantiate it properly. Substantiate, elaborate. Am I giving you some English paper one drama right now? So that would be for satisfied, for dissatisfied. Uh, so you would compare it to the manager. Compare to man manager. So refer to information E here. So let's have a look at information E. A new competitor moved into the area during September 2018. Donald was not aware of the competitor and did not take any action during September. So 6.4.1, explain the effect of the new competitor on any two items in the budget. On any two items. Well, perhaps the most important one, 
total sales, it decreased from 1 million and 8,000 to 840,000. That's huge. 40 fewer units were sold. So 40 fewer of Chris Brown's aircons. There were reduced delivery expenses as well because, well, there were less sales. So monkey see, monkey do, whatever you see, list it. Tell me what it is and tell me whether it increased or decreased, okay? 6.4.2, identify two changes Donald implemented in October in response to the new competitor, quote figures, and give one reason for each change. So now in October, there was a major decrease in cash purchases, which means there had to have been an increase in credit purchases, and maybe this was done to, one, improve cash flow. So we're doing 6.4.2. Two, there's a massive increase here in commission from 25,200 to 46,080. So maybe he's cut salaries down a little bit. Maybe he's increased them. That doesn't matter too much. Most importantly, his workers now are working for commission. So the more you work, the more you make, the more you are remunerated. So there's been an increase here in commission. Um, also credit sales increased. So we're allowing more purchases on credit. So that's massive, absolutely massive. We compare the 504,000 so the 882,000. Okay, anything along those lines would have scored you the mark. And last question, 6.4.3, explain why Donald feels that his decisions were successful. Provide two points. So the sales of air conditioners increased by 50 units. That's really good. Units sold increased from 200 to 300. Also very good. Sales were 210,000 over budget. That's massive, 210,000 over budget. And also advertising did not increase. It remained the same while sales increased. So that was 6.4.3. Monkey see, monkey do. Whatever you see, name it, list it, compare. Increase or decrease. That's all you need to do. It's basic. Please don't overcomplicate it. This is a relatively easy section with the focus being on calculator work and simply very basic interpretation. It's not too hectic. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, go study now. Love you. Bye.